from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. Guys, you don't see a whole lot of slip joints on this channel. Or just non-locking knives in general. Right. Now, before you yes. tune out. <laughs> right. Let's get your attention here. I fell in love with this knife at Blade Show and I had to have it. This is a non-locking knife we handled in person yes. and loved. Yeah. So it's worth a video. It's mm -hmm. worth maybe your attention. Yes. Some of you out there, that's what you require to, to that's EDC. That's you can only have. <laughs> um, we definitely, Sorry. We actually, we definitely want to hear from you yep. out there whose laws require non-locking knives or slip joint knives, yeah. that kind of thing. But this particular knife is a little different, okay? Why do they always have to fly overhead as soon as we start filming? As soon as we start filming. I'm just filming. saying. Yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Yeah. This is the Concept Weasel. First of all, I love the name. <laughs> the Weasel. Yeah. Look at this. This is the brown Micarta version too. Okay. But yeah, as soon as I handled this knife, I was like, I have to have it. I know it's non-locking, but there's some fidget factor with this knife that you just have to put in your hand to feel it. So. How many versions are there? There's three. Three whole versions of it? Yes. What is the price of this one? Um, this one is sixty-six fifty. Okay. And then they do, there is a, a, a more expensive version? Yeah, carbon fiber, it's $87. Okay, all right. So three versions as of right mm -hmm. now of the Weasel. <laughs> so, yeah, just kind of a, mm, I guess we're going to say average size knife, huh? Yeah, it really is. I mean, technically it's over three inches, so it's... 3.13. Yeah, I, I, I don't okay. know what the deal is. I'll repeat it again. 3.13 inches. Yeah. Um, so you might have a non-locking under three inch rule, which this one would not class be classified for. True. It is just a little over that three mm -hmm. inch uh, um, size. But okay. You may want this without any laws. It's just a cool knife, okay? It's really so, fun to play with. Yeah, here's the thing. It's a slip joint. Yeah. That's a super fidget knife. Yeah. All right, so yeah, the 3.1 inch blade, 154 cm. Yes. Coated on this one. Are the yeah. others coated? Um, there's just stone wash and then black coated. I forget which is which. I think that this is the only black coated one. Okay. But don't. Don't look to me for knife knowledge. Well, especially non-locking knife yeah. knowledge. Now, it is a flipper. There's the tab, mm -hmm. kind of a rounded tab with jimping. So what's different about this knife, what's very unique, it's it's got a detent. Yes. It's actually got... Double detent. A double detent. So oh, there's yeah, a, double D. There's a hole drilled on each side of the blade and a detent ball on each side of the blade. So what does that result in? super fun fidgety knife it's very precise yeah it's very the action's very free um it's it's obviously on bearings yeah so it it locks into place um no uh, it does not <laughs> it, it, officially it doesn't lock into place but it kind of does it like kind of just falls into place the double but detent, it doesn't lock yeah the double detent holes yeah kind of hold it there mm -hmm. but look at that you can just with one finger release it if you yeah. want i love that one too the this is yeah the brown micarta and as you can see it's kind of like checkerboard which is really cool too yeah um and not necessarily coming across in video there's texture to it it's a little bit of texture yeah. to it right yeah mm -hmm. well and then they have a version that's pretty much the same thing but it's tanto and that one is the Fusa. Or is it Fus? Fusa. Fusa? No, it's not just F O S. Okay. Set. That Fusa. That is also non locking? Yeah, and it's okay. a flipper and then um, Tanto. Okay. Both designed by Rolf Helbig yeah. out of Germany. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Concept Knives, production knife company out of China. Think, think Kaiser. Mm -hmm. Very similar, and actually yep. some of the same people from Kaiser went to Concept. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. But what's different about this one compared to the others? Yeah, it has that double detent compared to, like, a regular slip joint that goes the, the half stop. Yes. That you have to almost use two hands for. You really oh, do. Yeah. You yeah, really you do. You need to use two hands for it. Yeah. 
So it's not really a fidget knife. Mm -hmm. Which what's the name of this one? Um, this one is the Bevy. The Bevy. Okay. Yeah. By yeah. Concept Two, it's a Nick Swan design. Yeah. And then I brought the locking version because you guys are used to this version with the locking of the slip joint. Oh, okay. Yeah, the so, back lock on this yeah. one, right? So. Okay. Well, where's another non-locking? Let's non -locking? say. Non-locking. The what? fracture. The fracture. These are less than thirty bucks, aren't yeah. they? But yeah, yeah, it has that half stop. And then, yeah. Not really a fidget knife. No. You need to have two hands. The action's so stiff you can't really... No, you can get it to like that half stop and that's about it. Yeah, you can't really flick it out. I, I don't know. It's just not really a fidget knife. It's no. non-locking, so it's going to check all those boxes for you yeah. that way. Um, which is this one. This is this Wii is Knives. This is the scamp. Yeah. This is a thin little thing. I think we did a video yeah. on it. S35 VN Premium Steel on this titanium non-locking. Actually, not this exact one. The, I, this is the prototype. Oh, so well, it was a, they're supposed to be S35. Yeah, yeah, they're they're normally that, but I don't think they did it on the prototype. So yeah, all right. I kept the prototype version. Well, we didn't bring a ton to compare to. There's just a, a couple of our non-locking ones, but mm -hmm. yeah, considered a slip joint. It's fun, it, guys. It really is fun. It's got an amazing action. Yeah. It beats some of the actions of a lot of our other folding knives, mm -hmm. a lot of our locking knives, okay? Yeah. So, um, what haven't we said about it? Yeah, 100, uh, 154 oh, CM. Yes. Um, kind of a, kind of a mid-grade at this point decent blade steel, steel. overall. Yeah, yeah decent For steel. 6650? I think that's a pretty good deal. Not bad when you're considering yeah. the price here. Yeah. Yeah. It does have steel liners. Mm-hmm. I was going to so, see how much he weighs. It's a pretty lightweight knife, to, in my mind. Look who remembered the scale this yeah, time. Yeah, it's about time. What you got? 2.69. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very light. Yeah, Very light. super, super light. It's a feather. And then the other color is, like I said, is the carbon fiber. So, I mean, actually, picture both of these, too. So, carbon fiber and jade. I call it jade, but it's the natural G10. Now, is it a titanium pocket clip? It looks like titanium, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. And it's even got a couple of holes drilled there. Uh -huh. um, mostly deep carry. Take a look at it there. It's a good basic clip. I kind of just like the looks of it with the holes in it. Right hand only. We've been getting more and more comments from the lefties out there. Sorry lefties. Well, sorry lefties. Sorry lefties. You have a right hand too. Why don't you just use it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am, I am, um, born just right-handed <laughs> but I, I i became i've told that story in other videos but i i just kind of became uh -huh. left-handed i i often Point carry four four nine okay so a little bit it less a thinner. little thinner yeah. than well, average it handle does, stock it handles really nicely there's well, no hot spots it's just i don't know it's just a really smooth knife yeah yeah um a knife we probably should have brought to compare to would be the civibi elementum yeah. size wise it's going to be pretty close yeah, to that. It, yeah real quick i was just going to say uh as far as left-handed goes i often carry a lot of my knives uh, in my left pocket these yeah days. you do uh, put your phone in the right and put your um knife in the left primary well, carry they in don't the left. bump each other too yeah yeah so here's the mini cryo i brought these so you can just see the size. Size yeah. comparisons of a couple other concept knives. So it's like in between. Oh my gosh, the bugs are killing us right yeah, now. Yeah, our choice to come to the park was not a good one. Yeah, it's not. Um, but look at that. That's And then what am I carrying today? I don't know. What are you carrying today? The void. Oh, you sweet. You know. Sharp by design. my budget knives. <laughs> yeah, what do these cost? It's like five fifty. <laughs> Is it that much? I think so. And this one's and this one's Riot produced. Yeah, it was beautiful. I, I think it's like that. I forget. It seems like all I always choose the most expensive S version. Such a precision action. You can tell that mm -hmm. knife is going to be expensive yeah. just when you flick it. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. About the weasel. <laughs> it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's I like it because you can't say it seriously. But it's what I'm saying about the weasel. It's a precision fidget knife. Yeah, it really is. Look at that. And you have to get the weasel because it's the weasel. It's the weasel. Oops, that was my fault. Yeah. yeah. Action is amazing on this one. Yeah, it really is. What haven't we said about it? They're available at Blade HQ. We'll put uh -huh. links in where you can get them. We appreciate when you use those. I think I have drawings there right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it depends on when you're watching yeah. this. Well, and I, we don't have the exact box for this one, but um, they all come with... These have gotten tighter and tighter, I swear, over the years. Um, the years, as in the, the one year. I think you just need to build up some strength. 
You need to build up strength. Yeah, you're gonna get the um, the premium box on this one, yeah. I think, and the the little pouch. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the budget ones not come with this stuff. They do include a cloth. Yeah. Somebody commented the other day that uh, um, when you're buying a knife, you're not buying it for the the frills and the, the extras in the box. Um, and it's like I, am. I don't know. It's just kind of nice to get it's, that stuff. Well, it it comes free with purchase. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean in if you have so many knives, it's really nice to have these pouches too because they don't bump up against each other. It just keeps them in better shape too. Well, let's ask though, the the non-locking buyers out there, yes. does this particular knife fit in a category that, that you can that you can own? Yeah. It's think... slightly over three inches. It, it's non-locking. Right. Yeah. I like I said, I handled that immediately and I was like, I need this knife. I just love it. Yeah. It's it has just like that nice feel to it. Oh it does. Oh yeah. It definitely 60, does. 6650. Okay. Yeah. So I'll concept concept has been around. I mean at the time of this filming, concept has been around for about two years now. Mm -hmm. Um cranking out budget and premium knives. Yeah. This one really I guess it's on the Budget, budget in, in yeah. but it's kind of in a category of its own. Yeah, it really is. And then the Fusa is about the same price too. Are it you comes sure it's in Fusa? Yes, it has an A. Okay, this bugging you. Okay. All right. Okay. It's a tan <laughs> inside joke. <laughs> inside joke. Yeah. There's the backspacer on it. Yeah. But I like the markings knife. right here too. It looks like a snake. This micarta makes it look like a snake on the inside. Is Doesn't that, it? Is that what you guys were thinking too? Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. carried this one uh, two it's or three, snake. two or three different times since uh, obtaining it from Blade Show. Love it. It carries. Snake. What are you? I was thinking weasel snake, and then I was thinking snake weasel, and then I started thinking Ricky Ticky Taffy. Uh, I don't the, even know. You guys are gonna have to the comment mongoose on that. that killed the cobra. Oh, okay. Everybody right. knows the story. Well, Jeez. three total versions. And this is probably our favorite, although I think we'd have any of them. Yeah. But super addictive action. Mm -hmm. Thin, flat grind on the blade. Uh, well, I say thin. 0.12 kind of really averages in yeah. it of the blade stock thickness. But yeah. yeah it's cool. For cool sure. knife. A fun one that deserved its own video. That's the weasel. <laughs> yeah. Well, see this video too. We have a video on the fracture. Yeah. Pretty good for something like twenty-eight fifty. That is, yeah, it really is. But just not a fidget knife like it's, like this. The fracture is just not a weasel. It's not a weasel. It, yeah. He'll never grow up to be a weasel. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's everything. <laughs> okay. We didn't bring a whole lot to compare to, mm -mm. but yeah. All right. I think that's everything. If you made it this far in the video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Yes. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us.